2016 BMW M2 What's new for 2016 The 2016 BMW M2 is an all-new car based on the existing 2 Series. Introduction in 2011, BMW's M division developed the 1M Coupe based on its intra-level luxury 1 Series Sport Coupe. It was a potent little sports car with one major flaw, availability. Fewer than 1,000 examples were imported to the United States, and demand far outstripped supply. In 2014, BMW redesigned the 1 Series and renamed it the 2 Series. Now, two years later, we have the 2016 BMW M2. It follows the same formula, but with one nifty detail, BMW says it will build as many as it can sell. Not to be confused with the M235i, a high-performing 2 Series in its own right, the M2 is a proper M car. Among a host of changes, the M2 has been widened by 3.2 inches to accommodate fatter tires, power output has been increased by 14% and the suspension has been reworked with a narrower focus on performance. The end result, it's a riot to drive. Compared to BMW's current generation M4 Coupe, the M2 is more responsive to driver inputs, but it stops well short of being overly sensitive. On a racetrack, novice drivers will find it fun and forgiving, making for a good sports car to develop their skills on, while more seasoned racers will appreciate the car's balance and its potential as a dedicated track vehicle. Anyone, however, could identify the M2 as a relative bargain, as it undercuts the M4S as new price by $10,000. On-road comfort isn't as good as it is in the M4, though, which might be one reason to step up to the pricier model. In the M2S price range, the new Ford Shelby GT350 boasts plenty of racetrack cred and 526 horses to back it up though it does lack some of the polish and luxury refinement found in the M2. Mercedes-AMG CLA 45 spits out 375 horsepower through its turbo four-cylinder engine and standard all-wheel drive, but it's not as engaging to drive. You might also consider the related M235i, since it provides plenty of performance for even less coin. Overall, though, we think the 2016 BMW M2 would be an excellent addition to any fledgling racer's garage. Body styles, trim levels, and options The 2016 BMW M2 is a four-passenger, two-door coupe that comes in a single, well-equipped trim level. Standard features include 19-inch alloy wheels, xenon headlights, automatic wipers, auto-dimming driver and interior mirrors keyless ignition and entry, automatic climate control, leather upholstery, 10-way power front sport seats with 4-way power lumbar, heated seats, driver memory settings, BMW's iDrive infotainment system, an 8.8-inch display screen, a navigation system, Bluetooth phone and audio connectivity and a 12-speaker Harman Kardon audio system with satellite radio and a USB input. The optional executive package adds a heated steering wheel, a rear view camera, rear parking sensors, automatic high beam headlight control, frontal collision warning and mitigation, and a lane departure warning system. Powertrains and performance powering the 2016 BMW M2 is a turbocharged 3.0-litre Inlinsic cylinder engine that produces 365 horsepower and 343 pound-feet of torque. Sending power to the rear wheels is a standard six-speed manual transmission that includes an automatic rev matching feature for downshifts. Alternately, you can choose the 7-speed automated manual transmission DCT. BMW estimates the M2 will reach 60 miles per hour in 4.1 seconds with the DCT a few tenths of a second slower with the manual. The EPA estimates fuel economy at 21 miles per gallon combined 18 city 26 highway for the manual and 23 miles per gallon combined 20 city 27 highway for the DCT. Safety standard M2 safety features include anti-lock brakes, traction and stability control, 
side airbags for the front seats and full-length side curtain airbags. Optional equipment includes a rear view camera, a lane departure warning system, and frontal collision warning and mitigation with automatic braking. Crash test results are not available for the M2, but the BMW 2 Series on which it is based received the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety's highest score of good in the small overlap and moderate overlap frontal impact crash tests, as well as a good score in the side impact, roof strength and seat head restraint tests. Interior design and special features The 2016 BMW M2S interior benefits from minor tweaks to the standard 2 Series already admirable cabin. Materials quality is respectable for the intra-level luxury class, with appropriate padding for passenger comfort and well-grained but hard plastics everywhere else. The M2 dresses things up slightly with racy fork seward inserts blue contrasting stitching and the subtle use of M badges. It takes a little effort to familiarize yourself with BMW's iDrive infotainment system, but overall it's pretty easy to use, and the large 8.8 inch display is notable for its crisp graphics. Front seats feature aggressive side bolstering for excellent support when cornering hard, but remain fairly comfortable after several hours behind the wheel. As with the regular 2 Series, the rear seats are best for smaller passengers only due to the low-mounted cushions and lack of headroom. The M2S 13.8 cubic foot cargo capacity is generous for the class, and the low, wide opening makes loading heavier objects easier. Remote seat back releases further simplify the loading of bulkier cargo. Interior storage is adequate, with moderately sized bins, pockets and cup holders. Driving impressions as a more performance-focused car, the 2016 BMW M2 makes some sacrifices in everyday drivability. The suspension is rather stiff, and road noise is ever-present and can be intrusive on coarse asphalt. Unlike on some other rival models, you can't get the M2 with an adaptive suspension. None of these drawbacks should deter the core M2 audience. Fears a torrent of power from just off idle all the way to redline, and the transmission ratios are well spaced to keep that power on tap. The engine and exhaust emit a burly growl at idle that grows to a mechanical howl as revs climb. It sounds great and even better, it's all real some other M cars enhance it with synthesized noise through the speakers. The manual transmission isn't the easiest to operate smoothly but you can always go with a generally excellent DCT automated tranny. Handling is very responsive, yet forgiving when pushed to or just past the limit. It's an excellent car for drivers who want to sharpen their skills, and poses enough of a challenge for them to grow into it. Drivers of any skill level, however, will be able to appreciate how undeniably entertaining it is to drive on a racetrack or winding mountain pass.